this new virtual world that we find ourselves in has thrown up uh, a number of different challenges and opportunities to think differently when it comes to presenting. And uh, one particular area uh, that I think is worth exploring and thinking a little differently on is the, the human interaction between presenter and audience. Um, in my opinion, the best way of doing that is by utilising the good old webcam. Uh, and my thinking is really, really simple. Um, presentations rely on interaction. They rely on a connection between the presenter and the audience. Now, there's been some really interesting debate, uh, quite lively at times, on LinkedIn regarding the use of webcams in presentations. And there's a school of thought that says, actually, if you still have a talking head uh, showing as you're presenting slides, it gets in the way and your audience doesn't know where to look. Um, frankly, the, the slides are there merely as visual punctuation in my mind. And you, the presenter, are the presentation. So uh, shutting yourself off to make way for a slideshow or for a demo and just excluding you completely, I think kind of gets in the way of the interaction that makes presentations work as effectively as they do. It does all fundamentally go back to a thing that we talk about a lot here at Eiffel, which is audience. The audience is the most important stakeholder in any presentation. It's a phrase we use a lot. And that comes down to how you plan and deliver things like webinars and, and other presentations virtually. One of the ways of doing that is actually by putting yourself in the shoes of your audience. They want it to be shorter than it might normally be in a face-to-face -face presentation. So look at your content and figure out what's most relevant to your audience and give them great value early on. I'd also suggest that actually rather than approaching things in a more broad brush approach, which is yeah, typically what a lot of webinars do, they try and cover a lot of bases and make sure that everybody kind of gets something from the event, we can be way more focused now. And we can actually present content that's relevant to just 10 people in a, in a webinar and just deliver that to those 10 people. So rather than run a webinar that may take an hour and be a broad brush approach to 50 people, why not do five presentations to 10 people, make them 15 minutes of great, valuable content. You're going to get more out of it. They're going to get more out of it. And that human connection, that engagement by utilizing the webcam is still very, very much a key part of that process. And the final thing I'd say is, yeah, and certainly as groups get smaller, you can make your engagement more conversational. And humans like to interact with each other. So you know, rather than presenting a formal I talk, you listen way, how about just sharing ideas and then prompting an open forum where people can offer their thoughts, they can ask questions, they can test their understanding. And actually it stops becoming this this you know, monologue of information that's being thrown out there virtually and actually becomes a much more cohesive and more uh, dialogue-led uh, engagement, which I think is going to be way, may, way more interesting for the audience and certainly more effective as a presentation tool for the presenter.